Marhaba everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, my name is Senna. So, today is Saturday and honestly, after yesterday, I just, okay, obviously it's December, I think today's what, December 2nd, so today's December 2nd and you know, from my last video, I told you guys that I didn't know how I wanted to go about making these vlogs or making these videos in a way that I felt was like sensitive and meaningful and cozy without being, you know, hypocritical and insensitive and everything like that. And so for the people that watch YouTube consistently or have watched it for years, you know that this month usually for vloggers they call it vlogmas and normally during this time of year they get paid a lot more to post their videos. I was just getting really frustrated yesterday because I was like I just feel like the timing of what happened it being at the end of the year was very calculated you know because during the end of the year that's when a lot of people normally focus on things to do with fall things to do with what they call Halloween, things to do with what they call Thanksgiving, and things to do with what they call Christmas, okay? So this last month of the year, it's like you're getting so much content and so much um, seasonal things thrown your way that, you know, what's happening in Palestine a lot of the time could get lost in that outpour of content. I was just feeling just very upset especially with muslim influencers making what's happening in palestine about them you know being like well i feel better and i feel like i'm in a better place like who cares i'm not trying to be offensive or anything but this isn't about you this isn't about me this isn't about the people that are living in 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 luxury and the people that are like oh, i know it's been really hard to turn on my camera and sit down with you guys because it's just been so hard and yeah it has been hard it has been hard but you're really going to compare what you're going through to what they are going through and you're really going to sit down and talk about yourself and talk about your own life as if nothing is happening because you feel like you're in a better place uh, it, it's just it's 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 wild to me it's i just can't fully comprehend how especially muslim influencers can just go about their lives and go about their days posting their regular content and and not fully take like 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 no that's it we're going to stop this regular content because we need to show all of these brands all of these people all of these platforms that this is serious and this needs to stop you know and it's like i get it that's the way that you make your money but if you're also the type of person that says that you know mashallah who can of course that's that's a very obvious whatever is meant to be shall be to the people in palestine then you should also say in no Allah razaq whatever is meant to be for me it shall be for me too whatever money I'm meant to make I'm gonna make these past almost two months that everything has been happening has just been really too much for you to handle when they've been dealing with this for 75 years but it's too much for you and you feel like you're in a better place what does that even mean you're you are in a better place i'm starting to see like my instagram feed used to be filled and filled with things about palestine and now it's like slowly starting to kind of like work its way into other things and i'm like what i'm just shocked because i'm like it's still happening it's not it has it hasn't stopped Twenty thousand people dead over a million people displaced. What do you mean you are in a better place? What do you mean you feel better now to post your content? That is just, who cares? No offense, but who cares? Because that's how I feel about my content too. Like, don't think that this is just like an attack on any one person. Like, I feel, I feel like that about my own content. That's why I stopped posting the gameplays because who cares? 
That's why I can't get myself to post any of my normal cozy content because who cares? Who cares about that right now? You, we see what's happening to our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters and it's like we should be at the forefront of like like the, the boycotting and the genuinely like, no, we are going to stop our lives. We are going to stop posting normally. We're going to stop doing things as we normally would because what's happening isn't normal. That's what we should do. And it's like, it, your job is to be an influencer. Okay, influence people then. Influence people. Use your platform to influence people to continuously talk about it and not be afraid of whatever consequences come from that. What people are doing a lot, um, in my opinion, it takes a lot more strength to do what some people are doing than it is to do what I'm doing, which is just turning on a camera and talking to a camera in my home my quiet home. So the reason why I mentioned vlogmas specifically is because some people take the time to post every single day for the month of December. So I was like, you know what? You're going to be posting this content and pretty much I just feel like Palestine is going to get lost in that mix. So that's what I'm going to do too. I'm going to be taking the rest of the month, inshallah, to post vlogs every single day talking about Palestine and uh, this is something that uh, obviously I have not ever done before I don't have a plan for it um but I'm just I'm just wanting to be as um what's the word transparent I'm just trying to be as transparent and as real as possible and just go about my day how probably how I would go about my day and just talk about Palestine and talk about the latest news and talk about what's happening and just kind of bombard my channel with just vlogs about me talking about Palestine because I just can't sit here and and feel like people are just making this about themselves and and not talking about it because it's just too much for them. I just I just feel like that's silly, you know? And don't get me wrong, like like you don't think I miss posting my cozy content, you don't think I miss posting my gameplays and I'm just like like I, I do. It's true. Like that's that's my that's my niche. That's where I found my place in my platform. And like all of my platforms, just coziness, cozy gaming, cozy lifestyle, all that stuff. But when I see the videos that I see and and the content in the news, I'm just like I I can't I can't do it. I can't sit here and do like a get ready with me with my $50 makeup brush and my $70 uh, uh, foundation. You know, inshallah, one day I am able to post those things again. And when that does happen, inshallah, at that point, it'll mean something good for Palestinians and for Palestinian people and for Palestine. That's my hope. So, pretty much what I'm saying is, I'm weighing this every single day. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be living my life as I normally would and taking you along on pretty much my day-to-day, -day, hopefully, and just weighing it and figuring out what I'm going to do, at, <laughs> you know? I have this entire box next to me of my sweatshirts that I just honestly need to fold and put away and put nicely so that way next week it'll just be easy to embroider the sweatshirts that I have. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Yesterday on the news, oh and by the way just just to give a little additional information I am not using Palestine and what's happening to gain some sort of like clout. I don't get paid for 
posting my YouTube videos. Like at this point I don't get paid from YouTube for posting any videos. Um, I'm honestly just doing this because it just feels like this is what needs to be done. This is what should be done. And I wish I was seeing more people do it. You know? Yesterday on the news there was this woman that was walking and she was holding her baby and that baby was screaming and crying you know as a lot of babies normally do and this one IDF soldier got annoyed because that baby was screeching and so they um sniped that baby that was in his mother's arms and killed that baby and then they forced the mom to throw her child on the side and keep walking. And if you are a mother, put yourself in that situation. Seriously, put yourself in that situation. Think about it. Think about how you would feel. Think about how you would feel as a doctor being forced to leave the babies in like the ICU because they force you out of there and then those like newborn babies don't have um, anyone to take care of them obviously and so they just suffocate and die. You see, it's like hearing things like that on the news or seeing the videos. For me, it's like, dude, how could you just continue on with your life? How could you make something about you? Like, it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about these people and what they've been going through and what they continue to go through and like dude what kind of life is that and it's like the thing is like that's the thing i feel like they're counting on some people getting like bored and then starting to post the regular content and starting to kind of like it kind of like starting to like fade away and they're just going to continue doing what they've been doing. I mean, come on. Anyway, I don't have a particular method for putting my sweatshirts away. <laughs> um, I've just kind of been putting them on the shelves and stuff and pulling them out. And I've been um, kind of like stocking up on the green because they've been sold out for my business so so I have this box left over from my sweatshirts and I think what I want to do next is use this to put any like donation stuff in here just kind of what's the word um decluttering um, because you know, I get these big boxes anyways, so it's like might as well use them for that so that way I can just get rid of what I, whatever I don't need, you know. So that's the next plan. It is also currently a little bit past 1 30, and I do need to pray, so I think I'm gonna well, I don't think I'm gonna do that first, and then I think we'll just resume with. Maybe some like decluttering, seeing what we can donate, you know, what we don't need. And yeah, that's the plan. 
that's just normally how my days go um, if I'm not specifically embroidering. I used up all of my stabilizer, so um, I have to wait for the new stabilizer to come in before I can continue with my orders. Um, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but my bookshelf actually, dude, I don't know why, but the the structure of the walls here just are not very strong and so when we like anchored down the bookshelf it just came out of the wall and we did it like four times three or four times and so now it's a hazard and a risk and I just get very anxious because I'm like uh, I feel like that's gonna fall on my kid <laughs> you know he just messes around next to that bookshelf too often I don't know, again, I'm like weighing these vlogs, so we're going to be weighing them together. <laughs> so like I was saying before, you can tell we drilled so many times and then everything just came out. So now the bookshelf is just slowly getting further and further away from the wall, which is very dangerous. Decided while we're doing this, let's update you guys on some of the most recent trauma okay and things that are happening in palestine is a palestinian man with down syndrome is being assaulted by the idf soldiers tell me in what scenario that would ever 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 be okay you're assaulting someone with down syndrome we live in a country where our government doesn't take care of our people, it doesn't take care of homelessness, it doesn't take care of people starving, it doesn't take care of people not being able to make rent, it doesn't take care of student loans, it doesn't take care of any of that, but somehow they have money to send over to the state of Israel and they get to have free health care there, they get to live their lives there. I switched up the angle because I felt like there was just so much space up here. But but there's this post that it says, it says, I want my tax dollars to go to healthcare so my family, friends, and neighbors can go to the doctor without going into debt. I do not want my tax dollars buying bombs that kill innocent Palestinians. It's really that simple. It's literally that simple. Because that's, that's what it's doing. When you can send $200 billion to a different country like how about you take care of your own citizens first and then it says palestinians are willing to die for this land because they are native to it if if the so-called israelis were native they wouldn't bomb it to turn it into a tourist spot they would have preserved the ancient buildings the olive trees and protected the land indigenous people protect their land settlers do not take a moment Take a moment, let that sink in. Think about that, think about that message. Cause it's like, yeah, if something belongs to you, if something, if, if a place is your home, if a place has so much history and, and meaning and it's something that's deep for you, are you really gonna be the type of person to just go in and destroy that place? You're not. And that's it. That's my whole, the whole point of starting these videos and just talking about it. I just don't want it to be one of those things where it's like you talk about something that's like such an important matter and then it just gets lost in the sea of content and people kind of like slowly start veering their attention away from this particular matter and I was watching this video and Emma Chamberlain was on this podcast I don't remember what the podcast was but she was talking about how you know suddenly she's just started making like a lot of money and she has pretty much everything that she needs and she said like the one big splurge in her life was her house and she said that truly she felt like when the success started rolling around was when she started only working with companies that aligned with her values 
and not really settling just because someone wanted to pay her to do something but like only working with brands and making deals with companies that like she felt like um like had her same values in mind and i don't know subhanallah i just feel like sometimes i just feel like sometimes some people don't remind themselves that like subhanallah whatever is meant for us is going to be for us and we're not going to miss out on a single penny that was meant for us and it's like yes you should align with companies and brands that support good things not companies that support bad things just so that way you can you know make some money and stuff i feel like this is a very chatty vlog <laughs> but that's just what i'm doing you know i'm going through all the books there are some books that I haven't read yet that I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna make a decision to get rid of anything um, if I haven't read it yet. I just don't want to give myself the opportunity to read it. I have the books just stacked up here. <laughs> so we're gonna see what we're gonna keep from these piles. Tell me, tell me if you want to get rid or keep. Get rid of it. Okay. Oh, shoot. So. Keep. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I'm like, get rid of it or keep, and then he starts keeping, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I mean, I have the ebook. Just toss it. Are you sure? Yeah. Are I gotta you make sure? sacrifices too. I gotta... Yeah, but you don't have as many books as I do. I know. And I'm not getting rid of half of my books. Just get rid of it. Okay. Like, I mean, it's, not, it's not even a sacrifice, TBH. I want you to read that one. Okay. Keep it. At least until you read it, and then toss it. Burn it. I haven't even finished that one, so yeah. At least till I finish it. Nah, toss it. You want to read that one, remember? Toss it. No, I just wanted to keep them because they were your old books. Hmm. Yeah, I just toss it. Are you sure? Are you sure? You could like one day give it to your child. So that they know what I had done. But keep that one. Not the other one? No, nah, just keep that one. That one's more close to the movie than the... I bought the movie novelization. Yes. Keep it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Keep it? Actually, yeah. I want to at least read it before we leave and then I'll, and then I'll burn it. Yeah, just just keep the, the silver one. The girl kicked the hornet's nest. That's and the third one. Throw these away? Yeah, we'll burn them. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of that one once I'm done too. Uh, so he said to ask the question of would I read it again? And that's how I should make my decision. Oh, that's tough. Okay, I guess we'll... I have a lot of books over here that are poetry books that I have collected over the years. But I don't remember them. Like, would I read them again? I feel like I would. It's just a lot of these books that I currently have collected, I've collected them this past year, I want to say. And so I just recently read them. So it's like, I don't know if I would reread them again after a while of like forgetting what happened. You know, I finished this book yesterday, actually, and then I got the the sequel, but they only sold it in hardcover, which kind of annoys me. That's like, I feel like that's a bookish, um, what's the word? Pet peeve. So this is so far what we're planning on burning, and then... The rest of the books are just right here, so cleared out a big chunk of the shelves. Anyway, we're currently on like this sort of book buying band for me because I have enough that I need to just finish and read. Um, and I don't want to add more <laughs> like 
things to my life that I don't need right now. Plus, there's a lot of opportunity for me to like read books on KU or um, like check them out from Libby from the library and just read them on my Kindle. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But it looks nice. It was very overwhelming before, but now it just looks a lot neater. This was pretty much my plan for today. Got, I got done what I needed to get done. Um, I'll see about filming tomorrow just because tomorrow might be a little bit busy doing certain things but hopefully if I can't film on Sundays then I'll probably at least do like a Monday through Saturday situation and just try that out. It's definitely going to be a lot because I haven't ever done that before. Um, and if you didn't notice before, I was kind of like, I was posting just like two videos, but one of them was a gameplay, but then doing the vlogs, I was posting like one vlog a week because I, it was just like kind of challenging to come up with ideas, but I guess now we're going to force ourselves to be a little more imaginative with our content, right? So yeah. Every time I see what is happening to the people in Palestine, I I just feel like a small piece of me kind of gets chipped away. And it's, it's horrible. And I feel like because of the outreach of social media now and like TikTok and Instagram and all these things, I feel like it gives more opportunity for people to learn more about what's happening and to get the reality of the situation because you're not getting the news from like CNN or Fox News or whatever that clearly have specific agendas. You know, you're getting your news from people, from people that are there. Um, and it's, it's nice that that's happening but also at the same time it's like if you just stop listening or you stop posting about it it's not gonna do anything you're just gonna we're we're all just gonna live in this state of just this cycle you know it's just gonna be a cycle of something really bad happening to a specific group of people where they're abused assaulted murdered their homes are being destroyed etc and you know people are going to get really heated about it for a few weeks and then it's just going to die down and people are going to go back to living their lives the way they have been and it's just going to be a cycle and i feel like a lot of the time oppressors and people that are doing bad things they count on other people's ignorance to continue what they're doing and i don't want people to be ignorant i don't want people to forget about it i don't want people to just move on as if nothing's happening so that's gonna be it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye